Cancer uh, from Pong presenting on behalf of Team Vision. I'm the Poco uh, presenter of the of the team. Our outline of the presentation uh, is introduction, background of uh, the the project, the project overview. Then we have the project results, recommendation, and conclusion. Now um, the team project was basically on analyze the strategic leadership style and how effectively organizational leaders align their vision with these leadership styles. Uh, we took a case study on Anita Hotel and okay. the National Identification Authority, which are all basically in Ghana. The research um, seeks to analyze strategic leadership style and how effectively organizational leaders align their vision now, um, who is a leader? When you say who is a leader, we, know, we all know that it's an individual or someone who leads or commands a group or organizations. As we all know, being a leader to a group or an association is a business uh, that comes with a lot of requirements, tasks or responsibilities to be able to fulfill a set vision for establishment or group. A leader has to be smart. That's a strategic, measurable, achievable, realistic, time-bound in coming out with strategies that all help in making the organization successful and more exposed to other people outside their immediate circle. So the objective of the project is to achieve uh, a the, the objective of the project is to come out with the various strategic styles and also to, to find out the merit and demerits of the various strategic uh, leadership styles and to assess how the strategic leaders, uh, leadership style align with the vision of organizational leaders. Now, the recent questions that we came out with was what are the various strategic leadership styles what are the merit and demerit of the various strategic leadership style? How does the strategic leadership style align with the vision of the organizational leaders? And what are the relevance of the leadership styles in an organizational setting or environment? Now, <clears throat> the overview of the, of the project. Uh, the scope of the research covered staff from Anita Hotel, then the National Identification Authority, all based in Ghana. And it should be noted that probability sampling technique and a straightforward random selection method was used. This method was to help in easy understanding and interpreting, inter interpretation of research topic and to also help in getting valuable data in the study. Now, the, the team came out with the various strategic uh, leadership styles. And uh, some of the examples that we gave was uh, participative leadership style. That is uh, it's also known as uh, democratic leadership style. In this style, we realized the subordinates are always involved in decision making. They take opinions of their employees before making decisions. And we also have um, transactional leadership. Is, is a leadership style uh, that utilizes rewards and um, punishment to motivate and direct followers. And we also have transformational leadership style. This type of leadership focuses on tra uh, transforming individuals and organizations by encouraging creativity and promoting personal growth. Yeah, so uh, talking about these leadership styles, we have the merit and demerit of those leadership styles. Uh, to mention a few, uh, the that of that of um, participative leadership style, the merit, the leaders as a higher employees engagement. That is the merit. One of the merit, then one of the demerits is it's time consuming and in decision making. And, and in decision making, it's also lack direction in crisis. Then uh, talking about that of uh, transformational leadership, the merit inspires 
uh, the leadership inspires their followers to go above and beyond what they are expected to do, then, then that of their demerits, they relies heavily on the leader's influence. Now, ways through which a leader strategically influences. Uh, from our online and field survey uh, conducted for the research, for the research work, we, we realized that most people are willing to follow a leader if there is trust. So um, this is what we came about. So assessing how strategic leaders, uh, leadership style align with uh, their vision and organizational leaders. Two organizational, um, two organizations were adapted to be used as a case study. That is uh, that of Anita Hotel and that of uh, National Identification Authority. Uh, so the first, the first case study was Anita Hotel. Anita Hotel, which is a prestigious hotel in Ashanti region, is being located in a child room. And the CEO is Dr. Ms. Sifa. And per our research, we realized that Mrs. Dr. Boache, Dr. Boache uh, believes in teamwork, hence sometimes embraces participative leadership style, where she includes all her workers in the decision-making process, because in her absence, they should be able to undertake activities as they are aware of the procedure to follow. Then our second <clears throat> case study was the National Identification Authority. That, is, um, that, that was established or set up in 2003 under the office of the President of Ghana with the vision to provide a complete value-added uh, multi-sectorial and multi-purpose national identification system through the innovative use and application of information and communication technology to facilitate the social, economic, and political development of Ghana. The National Identif Identification Authority seeks to register or come out with a database for Ghanaians or foreigners, like Ghana, those living in Ghana, or those uh, uh, foreigners who have been captured in the NIA database. The director of the NIA, that is Professor Ajumai Kenneth Atefwa, who was recently elected by the president, is a man with a with a various leadership work uh, proceedings. That is, um, he expanded his territories. Uh, before his office, you no, know, there was there was no um, regional setup of there was no decentralization of regional offices, but Per our research, we realized that during his term of office, the, the, the authority has more than 60 million Ghanaians who have been captured on the Ghana card and has efficient dynamic uh, and also has different offices in the other region, regions, giving up or minimizing unemployment to other individuals who are not working in the system. Going forward, um, now to our recommendations and conclusion. To our recommendation, the strategic leadership and management should let followers flourish in their innovation skills. Also, strategic leaders, leaders and management should have strong listening and communication skills. To mention few strategic leaders and management should learn to stay positive and in order to motivate followers in achieving goals and objectives. Thank you.